Kindness counts, and Western Mass News is rolling out a new segment to show how we can make the jobs of the people around us a little bit easier. Now you see them where you learn, where you work, and even if you don't, their contributions are clear. Custodians are part of our daily lives, and today we're highlighting one that's been a part of the Holyoke Public School System for more than two decades. Our Western Mass News reporter Taylor Jacobs has more on how we can make his and custodians' lives all around the world a little bit easier. If the halls and walls of the Ian White School could talk, they'd probably thank Jimmy Manajek, a custodian at the school who's worked tirelessly to keep them clean for over 20 years. I come in in the morning, yep. I, I do this library, okay. that main office, the nurse's office. I do four bathrooms down here in the gym in the morning when I come in. Yeah. What do you yeah. do in Well, you know, we sweep them up, um, you know, clean the toilets, um, like put all the chairs up, to mop the floor, you know, a wet mop it if it needs it, or, you know, dust mop, yeah. you know, um, sweep up the dirt and all that, make sure, and back in the carpet, she has carpets down here, so I make sure those are done every day. When we do a deep cleaning, um, which is, we'll go into a room, we take every light fixture panel down, we wipe them down, put them back up. We take a vacuum cleaner, we do all the vents and everything, you know, make sure they're all clean. Then we wash all the walls. And the last thing we do is strip the floor. Top to bottom. Top to bottom. Western Mass News tagging along with Jimmy as he makes his rounds in the cafeteria. Everything, any situation, any tool. His hope that an antioxidant rich fruit isn't on the menu. Blueberries are the worst. He sweeps and sweeps, filling up bag after bag with what students have left behind, ultimately dragging this bin to the dumpster. We're lurking in the woods, our scavengers, eager for an easy meal. It's hazard coming out here is the squirrels. The squirrels, I huh? Check, I got a check Give them a bait. Oh, yeah, how heavy was that thing? 40 pounds. No blueberries in there though, huh? Here, we'll do about four. Yeah. And that's just after one round of kids, huh? Yeah. It's tough and for the most part, thankless work that's overlooked, but it's not lost on everyone. I can't thank him enough for what he does. Every day we come to school with clean floors and classrooms. This is Jalen and Jady, a couple of fifth graders who wrote these letters to Jimmy in appreciation. He really works hard on this school. I'm so happy to have him at our school. See, that's just the type of guy Jimmy is, a difference maker who goes above and beyond. And his boss, Principal Jackie Glasheen, says for proof, look no further than a Saturday afternoon, the summer she started. Jimmy was hard at work. He was washing every single teacher's rug. And what are you doing? And he goes, I'm washing the rugs, but I'm not going to get done before the kids get back and the teachers are going to need their rug and I need them to dry. So he was hanging them over the lunch tables to dry. This is what's happening when you don't even know what's happening, but it's important for him that the teachers have what they need and the kids are in a good, clean learning environment. And I, you know, that's just typical Jimmy. Still, typical Jimmy is human and outside the bathrooms, he recalls what makes his day tougher. Sometimes, even longer. Is there, these are some trouble spots for you? Yeah, yeah, usually. What do yeah. you see? Um, just the graffiti, um, the, they took throw toilet paper, paper towels on the ground, that kind of thing. They write stuff on the wall about somebody, you know, or they write a swear or something. How you tough know, is so, that to get out? Not graffiti. too bad, it depends what they use. Like, but we have, we have stuff to take it off, you know. You use, can handle it. Yeah, oh yeah, we can handle it. That's why we have paint, a lot of paint. <laughs> if we have to, if we gotta go and paint it, we paint it, you know. And that's where Jimmy says kindness counts. In Holyoke, Taylor Jacobs, Western Mass News.